I can't stand ignorant, entitled people. It upsets me so much. And it's so hard to stay away from that kind of thing when it's all over Facebook. It's all over Instagram. It's all over the internet, period. And it's it's really frustrating. It's hard when it's like you... I find myself like, okay, let me slow down. <laughs> I'll go on Facebook and the friends that I have on Facebook are mostly um, family. Um, there's some family friends, some people that, you know, I just happen to meet. And there are even some people on there who I don't even know, but I follow them because I like to tease them or I'm just nosy. But um, I would say... Out of my friends list, probably about 75% of them are black people. And there's nothing wrong with that. But of that 75%, about, I don't know, 50% of them are just ignorant. Honestly, they are. And, you know, because it's Black History Month, you know, all you see is, you know, the black icons, the memes, the statuses. And everyone's like, oh, black lives matter and, you know, this and that and Mike Brown and whoever else. I don't I don't know. All the people that got shot or whatever. And I don't mean to sound disrespectful. It's like, okay, it's sad that someone died. It really is. But when you decide to do research and you learn about some of these people, like, oh, well, this boy got shot because he pulled out a gun in front of an officer. Or, oh, you know, this guy got shot because he, you know, robbed a liquor store. Um, I have no problem with a police officer shooting you if you are dangerous, if you have a gun or if you're doing something illegal. It's like you can't be upset with the police for doing what you expect the police to do. You're just upset because it happened to your son. But if your son was robbing a place, what did you expect? You know, I'm not saying you can't be sad that your son is gone, but how dare you say black lives matter and, you know, oh, fuck the police when your son was doing something he had no business doing. That makes me so upset. So upset. 